Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay video. This time it's of the sequel to Pikmin, Pikmin 2, which I love far more than the original Pikmin. Let's get this started and start a new game of course because as usual I do not have a memory card. You know the drill. <laughs> yes I will, I don't want to save anything that's on random gameplay and whatnot. It's only employee of any merit. <laughs> it's a little recap of Pikmin 1 in case you don't realize this. Yay! Even though I never was able to do that, like 100% it. Still! <laughs> I am terrible at real-time strategy games. This place looks a little barren and worn down. I like that one hair on his head that's sticking up and all curly. Now how do you get out of the- oh there we go. I was gonna say, how do you get out of the ship like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I guess he means our ship. That seems like a rather large depth, but it's rather easy to pay off, actually. A bottle cap, of course. Those are very, very beady, creepy eyes. <laughs> It recognizes a bottle cap as treasure, huh? Mm. Oh! <laughs> Makes me wonder how much they, uh... I mean, how long it would have taken them normally to pay off this debt. I mean, even with a year's salary, there's still, you know, the house payments and stuff like that. <laughs> Woo! Well, back to that planet we go. Which happens to be planet Earth, actually. I believe it's it takes place after humans are extinct. I don't remember which year they said it was in the game story. It sits somewhere. Anyway, let's get this started. The first area of the game is on screen right now. The reason why I like this game a ton more than Pikmin 1 is because they did away with that 30 day time system that gave me so much ire in the original game that I was never able to 100% it. And overall, it just feels like it's better designed. Or at least it does to me. Well, why did you have to fly so quickly and so low, dang it? <laughs> oh, poop. Well, looks like we gotta find Louie. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
flouting protocol. <clears throat> Eh, he'll be fine. We're both wearing spacesuits. Why, yes, they are! Actually, no, they can't be devoured. They, they cannot lose this battle, or and you can't lose this battle whatsoever. It's just a little test of sorts to get you, you know, in the hang of the controls and stuff like that. Uh, well, yes, I do. <laughs> Boop! And... Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Ah, so much dialogue, though. <laughs> Hold A button to skip dialogue quickly. <laughs> Alright, so aim at the dwarf ball orb. Throw. And you'll notice that it'll, it'll try to bite at the Pikmin, but it can't actually kill the Pikmin. It's kind of interesting like that. So, as you see here, there is a paper bag, and if you throw Pikmin on top of it... Uh... <laughs> thank you for interrupting me. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, you can switch characters by pressing the Y button which I will show you shortly, but as you see, you need 15 Pikmin to squish down this bag, of which I do not have, but if you press the Y button, you can go switch over to Louie here, and do his side of things. You see, you both are split up, and this is also the gimmick of the game that, what I think makes this game a little bit better than Pikmin 1, is that you can multitask using two characters, splitting up, ta um, splitting up tasks between them, and, you know, switching between characters as you need be to complete tasks faster and easier. And especially because they did away with that time system. <laughs> Granted, you can go for, you know, the lowest day score that you possibly can, you know, if you're going for some, like, world record high scoreboard or something like that. Well, that, that would technically be a low scoreboard, but you get what I mean. <laughs> so here we are as Louis. Let's explore! It's chilly. There's a plant with the pellets. There's an onion with Pikmin. Well, at least I think. Yeah, it should spout out a uh, Pikmin seed, actually. Boop! They always do that when a Pikmin species goes extinct, or at least it thinks it goes extinct. They're breeding machines! Ah! Those eyes! Let's pluck it! Boop! And... Hey! Hello! I mean, yee, hello! <laughs> yes, I know this. I know this. Yes, that is interesting. But there's so much dialogue. It's burning a lot of camera time. <laughs> oh! No, oh, don't touch me! <laughs> and I think they've gotten used to each other. Oh, it's already with me. Okay. Throw it up to the pellets. Boop! Let it carry the pellets back to the onion. And this could take a while. So, here's where the multitasking thing comes into play. You can look around with... <laughs> Why do I keep getting interrupted? All these tutorials. If you bring a pellet but the same color to... I mean, this, with the same color as the onion, it'll spawn more Pikmin than the number that is on the pellet. Mm. I wonder where that onion got the uh, nutrients to spawn more Pikmin to begin with, anyway. <laughs> I mean, it obviously needs a Pikmin to get its nutrients. Yeah, I think you get the idea. <laughs> Pluck more Pikmin. And follow me, guys. Boop. And take that back to the onion. You, up there. Take that back to the onion. Nothing more, huh? Switch! 
And let's see what's up here for the heck of it. I don't think I can actually do anything up here as Olimar at the moment because, yeah, because I can't get through this area without squishing ye old paper bag there. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that. So I'm just going to throw them up there ahead of time and switch back over to Louie. And start blocking! Come on, come on, come on! Let's go! Where do I want to go? Who knows? Actually, I want to go this way. And you'll notice there is a Duracell battery. There's a ton of in-game advertisement, and I love it. It just fits so well because, as I said, this takes place in an extinct, you know, extinct humans, planet Earth. So you would expect stuff like this to be laying around on the ground. And this is the treasure that you find in order to pay back the debt that uh, Hulkatok, or however it's pronounced, uh, needs to pay back the debt. And if you try to retrieve it right now, you will not be able to. Well, you can dig it up, I suppose, but I think it requires more Pikmin than what... than how much it is. But as you see, I'm going to be meeting up with Olimar soon. I just want to see how many Pikmin it'll take... Come on. <laughs> I can't really multitask when it's like, you know, this early in the game. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, it takes 20. So, let's meet up with him. And crush this paper bag. Like no one has ever crushed a paper bag before. Hey, wait a second. 12? Oh, that's just on the field. Uh, how much is that one? Hmm. Just to see. 35, no. <laughs> Alright, looks like I'm going back. I think. There doesn't seem to be anything else I can do here. I kind of forgot the beginning of the game. It's been a while since I've played through it. I've played through it twice before. But when I say it's been a while, I mean it's been years. <laughs> that's, no, that's where I started from. Unless I can do something with Olimar, but I don't think so. I'm kind of at a loss here. <laughs> Because I can't take that bulb orb back without the Pikmin, and I only have seven on my side, and you get the idea. Uh... Huh. <laughs> I forgot where I get the other ones from. Uh, not sure how I missed this, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's right by the onion, huh. Well, whatever, there you go! Come on, bring them back to me. Well, the onion. Let's spawn a few more Pikmin, then we can get back to the paper bag. Yeah, that's, that's why you want to clear out all the pellets this early, because you need the Pikmin to progress. Now we got plenty. Well, it's actually one more than needed, but still. Pluck! Plucky pluck! 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 And then, now the idea is to squish the paper bag down and then bring the bulb orb back to the ship. You know, you have the Pikmin carry them to the onion, then it'll breed some more Pikmin, and then you can get the Duracell battery. So... Let's do it. Squishy! Buddy! Nah, it turned out okay. <laughs> Aside from that cut, of course. <laughs> so now that we got everyone together, let's throw six over to there because you can only carry six. I mean, six can only carry a bulb mint, uh, dwarf bulb orb. Excuse me. And now I'm going to wait for it to go back to the ship. This is going to take a while. <laughs> but in the meantime, I can set up some here, I suppose. Otherwise, I can't get the others to move a little quicker because I can't put any more onto it. <laughs> so you stay there. And I'll wait over here. Got some beautiful weather. 
well, it's kind of cold, but it's beautiful inside the spacesuit. <laughs> okay, I'll just cut forward. And here they come, finally. Boop. Give me some Pikmin. Need more. Look at that, we have exactly 20. <laughs> Start plucking! You can keep pressing the A button and pluck faster without moving the control stick at all. It's a handy little shortcut of sorts to, so that you don't have to uh, move over to each Pikmin as you're plucking them. And let's corral them over there with the C stick. Get them all on there. Come on. Find the spot. Find the spot. <laughs> One stuck. And I'll just throw you over there. <laughs> It'll find its spot. Now this has got to go back to the other ship, so I will meet you over there. Come on! <laughs> so much waiting! I know it's heavy for you, but... Come on! <laughs> there! It is known as the Courage Reactor, not the Duracell Battery. They have funny names for each of the treasures that you can pick up around these areas. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this video. I think. Unless I can continue on to like the first dungeon or something like that, but although I am pretty far into this video, Minus the cuts, I'm, I'm recording it like, I mean, it's like 20 minutes into the recording right now. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.